okay uh, guys in the last session we discussed about interfaces like how to exchange data between different systems right so file is one kind of interface in sap a BAP, which we use to transfer or send data or receive the data from uh, different systems in the form of file so what is a file file will be that that can be a notepad file text file or spreadsheet spreadsheet nothing but excel file right so how that file will uh, will be like uh, like this for example material text quantity here some storage condition some storage condition we can take like this records will be maintained in the form of file Now tell me what kind of data it is. Comma separated data, right? How, how are we separating each value in a record? How are we separating the each value in a record? By using comma separated file we maintain the data with comma separator this is one record and this record contains five fields and each field is separated by comma this is comma separated file usually we uh, use dot csv dot csv type for comma separated files when we open it in uh, excel right so there, so there are different types of uh, text files. This is a text file with comma separated data, notepad file with comma separated data. So files will be maintained with comma separator or tab separator. Without comma, we may use a tab separator using single tab space, tab space. Records also we maintain with the single tab space. What do we call uh, this kind of data? Tab separated data. Tab, tab separated. separated data. So we are separating each value by using a tab. In some files, we take some colon as separator. In some files, we take pipe separator, shift to one. If you press shift, uh, sorry, not shift to one. There is pipe separator. This one, this one is pipe separated.
this is tab separator this is colon separator and this is pipe separator and this one what is this one this one tab separator tab, tab, tab separator tab space and there is another type of uh, files particularly in text files when we are working with text files there will be other types of files like fixed space fixed space tell me what is the uh, uh, what is the uh, length of uh, material material number what is the length of material number matner car 40 40 40 right Now go to our text file. Now how we need to maintain this file for for a, a fixed space? How many characters it is? One, two, three, four, five, six characters. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Like that. We are going to maintain forty character space. Right? So this forty character space we allocated for material number. Next, what is material text? What is the space of uh, material text? This one is also 40, right? Maximum length is 40, right? We are going to maintain 40 characters length for material text similarly for quantity we maintain maximum length allowed and for price we maintain the same space allowed what kind of file it is tab separated comma separate comma separate comma is fixed space it is not comma separated it is fixed space there is no separator here we are going to maintain each field with maximum length allowed for example material number is 40 characters right we are going to maintain 40 character space in the file for material id for material text also we are going to maintain 40 character space in the file and for quantity we are going to maintain the maximum length allowed for example 10 we are going to maintain 10 <coughs> right so when we are reading this file how can we identify what is material id and what is uh, material text tell me we worked on offset right for example, if it is tab separator, we can identify by using tab. Wherever we we find the tab, so next one is a separate field. We can identify that. When we are using this one, we can easily identify whenever we find this symbol. So the next one is a separate field. Similarly, pipe separator also we have a separate. We can easily identify right. But here, how can you identify what is the material number? What is the material text? Now we need to we need to read material number. How can you read material number in fixed space? Fixed space fixed space record. If it is in, if we have any separator, we can easily identify by using separator. Wherever we find a separator, that is the next separate field, right? But how can you how can you read values with fixed space like this? Let's assume we take this record into one variable. Now, how can you separate each field? How many of you know offset concept? Do 
0 of 40. What is this? Starting from 0, next 40 characters. What is that value? What is that value? Material number, right? Material number, right? Starting from 0, next 40 characters. What is that value? Material. 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 Now we need to read material text. What is material text? Starting from 40. 40. Starting from 40. What is the length of material text? 40, right? Okay. Next to 40 characters. Right? <clears throat> what is the next one? Quantity. So we are reading, we are separating record into different fields. You can easily understand when we created the program. So now how can you read the quantity from this fixed space record? AT of 10. Hmm. AT of 10. Starting from 80 characters. For example, next to 10 values or quantity. Similarly, price. Ninety of ten. So beginning at ninety, next uh, ten values or ten ten spaces is is price. What about storage conditions? Ninety of. Oh, 90, 90, starting from 90, next to 10 values are for price. Right? Now? 100 of. 100. 100 of, for example, eight, next 8 characters are for uh, storage condition. Storage. Right? This is how we are going to read or we are going to separate uh, record with the uh, fixed space by using which one? Offset. Right? What is what is the mandatory requirement here? The record in the file should be allocated with the proper space. Right? If you are trying to read next eight characters from hundred, but there are only four characters available, it will throw runtime error. It will throw runtime error. That's why in the file proper space should be maintained as per maximum length allowed okay <clears throat> clear yes, And if it is uh, if it is the record with any separator, we can use a split. Split, for example, LV string at the separator, whatever the separator it is, comma, <clears throat> and into variables. Into LV material space lv text space lv quantity space lv price and lv storage conditions <clears throat> so it will automatically populate the values into corresponding variables wherever it find uh, this separator so it depends on the separator in the file we are going to use uh, this split statement to split the the string uh, into separate fields 
we can also populate all the values into one internal table so this method is applicable to all the remaining operators separator ah, if it is different separator use that corresponding separator here using okay split statement okay you know concatenate right yes what is concatenate we can combine the multiple values into one single string for example first name last name middle name we can combine into one string that is a name what is split split is used to separate a string into different parts for that we need to identify some separator okay okay so here we are taking separators right how, which separator we need to take how we are going to identify the sortable separator for our file so separator should be separator should not be part of any of these values any of these values in the file for example if you take comma comma separator let's say there is a address field there is a address field address will be like uh, street 1 hyderabad india now tell me in my file address is a single value address is a single value but it contains uh, commas right which is separating street city and uh, country now if you take a comma separator in the file for all the values is it going to work properly no because since we are using comma separator it's going to split uh, this address data into three different uh, fields if you use split statement correct so it's going to identify each value as a separate field but this one field. actually this one is a single value address right if you take yes. comma separator in the data so it will identify this comma also as a separate field right so in this case we cannot use comma separators right we should use other separator any unique separator like this pipe separator right but if you think uh, there is a possibility of uh, this value the separator value in this uh, fields in the field values then you should avoid this because when you are reading the file in program right it will consider that pipe as a separate field if, if, the, if it is somewhere in between the values okay so we need to take separator which is not part of the values okay clear that's why fixed space values are uh, like there is no chance of this kind of issues separator issues if you if you take fixed space records right because we are going to read by space length of the each field we are not going by uh, any separator value right but for this we need uh, the file should be generated with the proper space if they maintain incorrect space we may read uh, incorrect values okay now let's upload a file into one internal table now upload one simple file into an internal table i'll prepare one simple file we have to prepare that in the server because we need to upload it in the server right
let's prepare one file 100 comma name of 100 salary and city right let's take few records in the file so when we maintain data in a file can't we create this data manually in SAP so when we use files so when we are handling bulk data many records right when we need to handle with the thousands of records lakhs of records we maintain the data in the form of a file and use that file in upload programs okay Now save this file, save as. So for now we are working with text files and once we complete this we see how to work with comma separated files, sorry CSV files, dot CSV files. But for now we are creating dot txt file. Employee data. Save this somewhere in the desktop, in the server, okay not in your local laptop or local system. Now create a program to upload this file into one internal table. First we collect the data into internal table and then we can perform any operation. Depends on the requirement. For example, we have it can be a .txt file or .csv file or .xls excel file that can be any file what we do we upload the data into one First, we upload the data into file data into one internal table and then we can use the data to perform many operations. We can insert the data into SAP tables or we can display usually we don't display the file data as a report so why we maintain the file in uh, data in files to create that data in uh, SAP to create that bulk data in uh, SAP for example how can you create a sales order number sales order by using VA01 transaction code right yes, sir. so how many sales orders you can create each time only one sales order right yes, sir. for example you need to create 10,000 sales orders how much time it will take to create manually it takes a lot of time right 
to create it manually one by one in VA01. Yes, sir. Let's say we maintain the records, whatever the sales order records we need to create in a form of text file or Excel file and we upload that into an internal table and from that internal table we call a BAPI, a BAPI function module which is used to create the sales order. That will be easy, right? Program will automatically create all those sales orders, right? Within minutes. So that's why we maintain data in the files when we need to handle large amount of data. Okay. And there is another scenario. We read the data. We read the data from SAP tables and uh, populate it to an internal table and from internal table we download this internal table data into file. We download SAP data in the form of a file that is outbound scenario. Right and previous one is a inbound scenario. So we are sending the data in the form of a file to external systems. For, for that we need to read the data, prepare the internal table and send the data to internal table. Clear? Now first we'll see how to upload the data into SAP internal tables from a file. So we have a file. Uh, the file name is employee data dot txt. We saved that in our desktop, local desktop. Close this file. Let's create a program. So this is text file upload. Create the file. Select the type as uh, executable program. Simple as it is like whatever, however like you created the program. Initialization. end of selection now to upload the file what we need to upload the file into pro, uh, internal table first we need we need to know the file path right where the file is saved in which folder to select right yes, sir. for that take one parameter to enter the file path
so take one parameter as input to accept the file path as input So what is the how to upload a file into internal table for that we have to upload and to download we have two function modules. GUI upload. GUI download to upload to upload text file into internal table what is the function module we use GUI upload GUI upload GUI upload, GUI upload. to convert uh, internal table data as a file text file what is the function module we use GUI download so GUI download can convert uh, internal table data into text file or uh, Excel file, whatever the file format it is. It can convert both into text file and Excel files. But GUI upload, we use up, we use to upload only text files. For for Excel files, we have a separate function modules. Even we have class methods also. We'll see uh, one by one. After calling the function module, what it will do? It will convert the data into internal table, right? For that, we need one internal table, right? Yes, so what should be the format of that internal table? Like what are the fields that should be available in that internal table? That should be same as a which one? That should be exactly same as your file. That internal table should be same as your file. Now tell me how many fields we have in this uh, file? Four, right? Four fields. But tell me, can, can the program automatically identify, automatically separate each field? No. For now, for now, for GUI upload, everything is a single field. Everything is a single field. If it is tab separator, if it is tab separator instead of comma separated if it is tab separator it can identify it can identify it will automatically split each field into tab separator but if it is comma separator it doesn't know what is the next field available what is the next field available so we have to provide that input we have to provide that input Okay. First, we'll see or, or we'll create first for uh, tabs operator. You can easily understand. Let me let me change it to tabs operator.
now save this file and let's prepare the internal table which we use to read this data to handle this file data for that what we need to do to define the internal table create a type structure what is the first field so that is material number right matner type matner and text sorry we are not taking uh, material data right employee data employee tables employee data employee id let's take some some uh, data type for now so for example car 40 there should be some data element with the name car 40 i'll take the same I don't know we have the table created that is available or not if it is available take those data elements for now I'll take care 40 for every everything for salary that relevant type whatever it is What is your own right for city? Type structure is created. Now create the internal table. So our internal table is ready. Now, what is the function module that we use to read the file data into internal table? Text file into internal table. GUI upload. Text file into internal table. GUI upload. Call that function module. What is file name here? We need to pass the importing parameters. What is the file name? File path. File path. For that we have taken one parameter or you can hard code it like this see some folder one employee data dot txt you can also hard code like this but usually we select different different files right that's why we don't do this we don't hard code this for that reason we created one now parameter that is E underscore file file type is ascii file hash field separator hash field separator nothing but a tab separator for this what we need to pass x is there a tab separator yes we have we have maintained the tab separator right so for that reason yes. I'm, I'm passing true so yes there is a tab space now data tab for data tab what we need to pass the internal table that is created with respect to the file same as file structure okay so each field should match with the internal table field each file each field in the file should match with internal table field so when we take separators we read that in a different way we'll see that later enable the exceptions if there are any errors while reading the file exceptions will be raised and these are all optional fields and now now tell me like we are passing some uh, 
file path as a parameter right file path parameter to the file name right you need to make sure what is the type of our parameter type string you need to make sure string. both function module importing parameter and this parameter types are matching for that go to function module what is the type of the file name same string only right so both are matching it should work now so once the data is once the data is uh, populated to internal table we'll just display the data as output for now once the data is collected to internal table you can use it for any functionality right you can display it in a smart form you can display in the form of report you can insert the data into sap once the data we collected into internal table that internal table data can be used for any functionality right you can loop it you can read the data you can you can do any operation on the internal table data activate the program execute it i'll keep a breakpoint here execute it so what is the file path What is the path of this employee file? Where is it? In desktop. your path is like this file path is like this employee data this is our file path right so if you save it in a different folder take that file path pass that file path here but usually we should add some f4 help here we should add f4 help here so that we can easily select the file from different folders we'll, like in the next session we'll see how to add f4 help file for the file browsing to select the file here we are manually copying the file and pasting it in the parameter now execute file path contains folder path and the file name execute hello what is sabarsi sabarsi is zero right so no exceptions are raised while reading the data go to internal table double click data is populated to the corresponding fields of internal table right Yes, sir. Because we maintain the file with tab separated data, so that we 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 have selected the parameter hash field separator here. Hash field separator means 
tab separator if we maintain the data in tab separator so you can use this option so that you don't need to write any split you can directly populate the data into internal table that internal table should be matching with the file structure these fields in the same order field should be in the same order how we maintained in the file right So we are just displaying the data as output. We need to add F4 here. Now we have uploaded the data into internal table, right? Now how to download the data into file, internal table data into file? Simple. What is the function module we use? Just we download, we download, download the same data. Yes, download, the download, the download the same data. Download the same data. GUI. GUI. Download. File download. path nothing but. In which to which folder you want to download this file? To which folder you want to download this file? I'll, I'll use some hard coded value. Employee data one. File size is. Uh, so, sorry, file type is ASCII. And what is append? For example, if we executed multiple times the same file, do you want to replace the existing file with the new data or uh, you just want to add next additional records to the same file? If we select append, instead of creating a new file, it will add uh, records to the existing file. Okay? For now, I am not selecting it. For this, what you need to pass? The internal table name, lt underscore data. Activate. Now we are uploading the file data into an internal table and again we are downloading internal table data into one text file. You can also use a Excel file to download. Provide the path. This is a Upload path. File is uploaded into internal table. Now we are downloading the file. Hello. File is downloaded. Sabar C0. And then just it will just display the output. Now go and check. Is the is the file downloaded? Uh, to the corresponding folder or not. Employee data one. It is downloaded, right? It is downloaded into local desktop in the provided path right yes sir so this is how we can upload and download the files by using program so today we have seen how to upload the text file and how to download the text file so tomorrow we need to add F4 help to the file browsing to select the files and also we need to check uh, how to upload the excel files there is one more important concept that is to upload the files into application server where we we can use the uh, those files as interfaces okay we'll see that tomorrow